Within the Yalong Zangbo Valley is an extraordinary religious sanctuary. Samye Gomba, the oldest monastery in Tibet, is one of the most important historic landmarks in Yalong's Valley of Kings. A circular wall that contains 108 chotens surrounds the large monastery complex. The entrances to the sanctuary were once positioned in all four directions of the compass. Samye Gonba was built in around 775 AD, a year that marked the beginning of Buddhist monastery culture in Tibet that has survived right up until the present day. At the time when the monastery was founded, the country was anything but peaceful. Hostilities between Buddhists and the followers of Tibet's Bon religion were frequent. With the construction of the famous stele and the Edict of Tisong Detsen in 779 AD, Buddhism became Tibet's official state religion. The Tibetan king, who had been influenced by the growing Buddhism faith introduced to Tibet by Shantara Kshita, ordered the construction of the Samye Monastery. Following a detailed examination of the geometrical location of the construction site, work on the monastery began. Its architecture was based upon Buddhist principles. The Samye Monastery was designed strictly according to the Buddhist principles of the universe. India's temple of Otantapuri served as its model. The main temple in the center of the monastery symbolizes the mystical Mount Meru that is surrounded by four temples, each located in one of the four directions of the compass. Each temple stands for one of the four constants. They are each flanked by two smaller sanctuaries that symbolize the eight side continents. The Tibetan king wanted to create a brand new location of religious power and influence. The introduction of Buddhist monetary culture and the decline in the bond system of faith with its demonic beliefs gave Tibetan society a new structure. The architecture of Samye reflected this new influence as the monastery was a gigantic diagram of the Buddhist cosmos. In addition to Shantarakshita, another Indian holy man was also responsible for the construction of the monastery. According to legend, Padmasambhava possessed magical abilities. However, when building began, there were several problems. It was said that bomb demons were attempting to hinder construction of the monastery. But Padmasambhava managed to overpower them. It was only following the symbolic overthrow of the older religion that construction of the Samye monastery complex was completed. The oldest monastery complex in Tibet also reflects the country's dramatic history. It was frequently threatened by war and natural disasters such as devastating earthquakes and fires. Over the centuries, numerous of Samye buildings were damaged and then rebuilt, so the architecture is a combination of styles.
Tibetan, Chinese, and Indian laborers assisted in the artistic decoration of the monastery's main temple. Sami's religious development was not straightforward. It formed part of the Nyingmapa Academy until the 11th century. Then it was taken over by the Kadampa. The next change for Samia came 200 years later when the Kadampa was replaced by the Sakyapa Academy. Under the rule of the 5th Dalai Lama, it became the Galukpa Academy. Today, it belongs once again to the Nyingmapa order. Sami's most striking building is without doubt its main temple. The three-story high main temple contains various historic influences, as due to several disasters, it's often been rebuilt. Traditional prayer mills are not only located around the complex, but also in Samir's main temple. Sacrifice bowls indicate worship by local people. Despite its many setbacks, the monastery is still an impressive sight. The annexation of Tibet by China in 1959 and the Cultural Revolution that followed caused the largest amount of destruction in the monastery's history. Since then, the buildings have been repaired. So today, the rooms within the main sanctuary have regained their unique, mystic atmosphere. Particularly impressive is the chapel of the protective deities with the old bond demons that were once tamed by Padmasambhava. The unique beauty of Sami's main temple is underlined by fine decorations and the use of precious materials within its walls. A steep staircase leads to the uppermost story of the main temple. At its center is an important image and several columns. Magnificent paintings that feature images of the Buddhist universe as well as of the monastery complex itself decorate Samir's interior. Despite its great age and dramatic history, Samye, as an image of the universe, is still one of the most beautiful and unique religious sanctuaries in Tibet. <laughs>